out here, Ville, popping bottles. We got Clark Jones in the building. What's up, man? Clark Leroux Jones. Y'all never know what's going on. <laughs> you know the movie. You know the movie. <laughs> you don't hit on a girl. You be hitting on a... <laughs> When you say Word, you mean like a Microsoft Word program on my computer? No. Oh, oh. <laughs> Point Dexter. <laughs> yeah, like that. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Blade Brown is the biggest asshole I've ever met. Hey, <laughs> I thought you were deaf. <laughs> you better stop dissing me. <laughs> Man, if you don't quit dissing me. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were deaf. That was my bicuspid. <laughs> We oh, got man. Clark Jones in the building. Doing oh, an unofficial man. script read of the 1994 <laughs> classic. Uh, classic work uh, Yo, yo, Benidi, want to play with my frog? <laughs> your frog ain't jumping in my direction. <laughs> yeah. They scored a movie with hip hop. It was, that was a very, it was a Seinfeld like hip hop though. Cause that was like, it was like a through beat. That what you just did that, beep, beep, like every time they but did the switch like scenes. But it was like the show a little bit. It was a TV show. No, like, that was like a movie. the show by uh, like like Slick Rick and them. Slick Rick had a show. No, this is called the show. <laughs> this yeah. Is, yeah. Okay. It was yeah. like kind of like. <laughs> no, this ain't this, that ain't it. That ain't it. They used that song though in the movie. Right. Yeah. I don't think we're when I met it. you, I admit my first thoughts was the trick. You look so good. <laughs> what, well, why would you do that? We were talking about classic. We were talking about classic. Wait, no, if wait. If Sus was around, no, if Paul was around, when Biggie was like in his hay, he was quoting Richard Pryor. <laughs> Still, <laughs> if, if if Paul was all around with Richard was Pryor, taken. all the other Richard yo, Pryor quotes was taken. Yo, the if, Public Enemy sampled all if, the good Richard Pryor quotes. So that that was the only one that was left. That one special <laughs> where Richard Pryor was talking about sucking dick for like crack man. If somebody was Paul's like in the seventies, that would have had so many. That would have been one of the main nah, comments. People been like, on "What's his that? IG. What's that?" <laughs> What's no, that? I'm saying if he did I it. I got an A-track. What are you talking about? Pause. What is, what is pause? How, how are you doing comments? It's 1970. This man rich as hell. He got a tape player. What the hell is pause? That's some new no, stuff. I want to hey, know man, right now. No, your, don't leave. Don't get out of here, millionaire. This man a millionaire. He <laughs> He's said, from the future. Talking about pause. I got I to gotta wait four tracks before I pause. I can never use a bathroom. Excuse me, sir. Can you leave? <laughs> You're upsetting the guests. Yo, you you really popping bottles uh, out it's, here. It's, oh. I've never seen somebody drink a drink and then it, <laughs> it explodes. You know what? More. Well, I played golf today and I had one of those like fanny packs. So I've really been carrying it around. Okay. And now it's like, well, I drove all the way out to this undisclosed location. That, I ain't gonna tell the address. Please don't. That that drink that drink is stressed out. Clearly it's it was, stressed out. Man, to, this is the to most... explode twice. That's like, hey man. I All I did was sit it down. This is the most dramatic Pacifico ever. That was crazy. I what is Pacifico? Oh, shit, just a beer that was the same as the other beers on the menu. So I just grabbed it. It's like a, a IPA, I think. Okay, okay. I think. According what does to IPA the stand for? Do you know? International um, Pale Ale. International Pale Ale. This so it's nice. not from IPA can't be from here, or we we included in international. This is foreign, or like my friends in Atlanta say, foreign. Why you had to do us <laughs> like that? Because that's how y'all say like foreign. No, y'all say this I a can foreign. Say foreign. This you can't look how, how look how you slow no, down no, to no, say no, it though. Say that foreign. was not no, the no, normal no. speed that you speak. You said I could say foreign. If you say foreign, I don't. I don't know. Like how. Wale for Lauren. It rhymes. That's how I know. That's how I work on my little accents. You got to say foreign like falarin. That's a, uh, what's that word? Nigerian. That's Nigerian. What? <laughs> Wale falarin. Oh, got, okay. You got ties to Wale, don't you? I don't have ties to Wale. Yeah, you tied I, to Wale. I mean, I was I was yep. a big fan early on. Okay. And like, yeah, I I helped him get his grail sneaker, but it wasn't like, you know. You helped him get his grail. That's that's a connection. Yeah, yeah. He that's a plug. he said on on a He shouted on a, you know, um 
Twitter? He said on on a, a sneaker blog that he would pay the price of a small car for a certain shoe. I saw the shoe in his size DS on eBay. I didn't have enough money to extort the man. You know, what you I'm didn't saying? have so, enough money to extort the man. <laughs> that yeah, is the reason yeah. why you extort because you don't have the no, money no, 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 no. to not extort no, somebody. The shoes was going for like like six hundred. Oh, so you sent so them the link? I sent them the link. Uh, yeah. And so, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. If I had 600, I don't know how I would have played it, but I might have parlayed it into like an in person meetup. You don't have the buy in. You know what I'm saying? I'm you not, gotta have the I'm buy-in. not trying to okay. extort money. I'm trying to extort dap. Uh, <laughs> yeah, how could he shout you out? Like, he would have to go on Fake Sure Drive and uh, right. shout out. I'm going to take it to DC to it, the dude, like, oh, I'll meet you in the parking lot of so and so. And then I got to, like, map quest. Because this is pre Instagram. <laughs> It's not like he could do your handle. It would have right. to be like your real Facebook name. I'd have name. wallet shoes like this on the mega bus. Just going letting to you know. Do you, do, you, do you want these or do you want these? Right. Because you can right. come get these. Right. And I, I, I'm not extorting. I'm extorting them to like, like you know, for the meetup, not not for the. Yeah, because that was like the break of like, um, you know, blog rap was, you know. It just, was the blog era and Twitter was a mini blog. Twitter and was a mini the blog. reason I got on Twitter is because. Well, I was already on Twitter, but the reason I started checking it is because Wale would always be on there. It was it was the Wild Wild West at the beginning. Anybody yeah. would be replying to you. Well, yeah, because you could see <laughs> hey. you could see the the entire like timeline. You could see the entire timeline. So any as celebrities people are tweeting, you right. could just watch it. Yes, and then what people so oh, okay, people are talking about the Eastern Conference Finals. Right, cool. I'm already watching that. You know, what there I'm was no verification, anything. So anybody could be anybody. I, I got on because of what was the world's most dangerous hip hop site? Uh, was it um, world star hip hop before that? Before that, it was a blog that um, that just would de- debut music. And I had got my hip hop DX all hip hop, all hip hop, all hip hop. Uh, my boy had put out a song for Obama. This was 08, obviously. And um I just did a cold like I he 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 gave it to us. It was called I Am Obama, and I just sent it to the all hip hop guy, and he put it up there, and he ate up. Yeah, the pres- president president <laughs> Jay Z got in trouble for that. He know he ain't supposed to be talking like that. Fifty Cent <laughs> called out a Jay for he ain't supposed to be making records like that no more. Um, but yeah, and that just the all hip hop guy. I forget his name, but we were just like talking like. Okay. Like we could be anybody. There was no separation of church and fame. I would I would interact with celebrities, screenshot it, put it on my blog. <laughs> Did you have a what was the blog thing? The uh, big blog. I still have one. The um I had a blog and it was like a play on funny or die and it was funny or fly and it was supposed to be mm, like hype beast meets genius. Like black genius. comedy stuff, comedy stuff, you know. Um, Rob, 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 what's your IQ, man? My IQ, yeah, I don't good. know the number. I know that it's I was I was in the gifted program. Like I yeah. was, up, I was, you know, enough to be in a get an H on the side of my B- schedule. Baccalaureate program? Would you do the international baccalaureate? Cause I didn't do international me. baccalaureate. Just just yeah. AP. You okay. know, on oh, the yeah. college level. Shit. I was chilling. You know, you weren't I'm, chilling, man. You 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 have a brilliant mind. You have a brilliant sometimes, mind. sometimes I don't. Sometimes I'm like, dang, like, all right, brain, like, you should have checked your email with I, your with your <laughs> smart self. You should have you know checked what? your email. Funny if you're is, so smart, you left the house without checking your email. Now you missing all kind of messages. You know I, what I'm saying? You, you have a distinct face when you're disappointed in yourself. I've seen it live. Okay, like, where like you saw an opportunity pass or something that you could have did, and you just kind of. Like I've seen it, Dang. and I pay, of course hey, we in the business of paying attention to people. That's the most eloquent way to express bombing that I've <laughs> ever heard in my life. You were disappointed <laughs> well, at the opportunity you knew that it, passed you, you knew by. It was coming. That's the only way I'm gonna describe bombing yeah. from now on. How was your set? You know what? I was a Man. little disappointed as the opportunity was passed. I owe me you by. that. I owe yeah. you that. Well, you knew it was coming <laughs> because I called you a genius right before that. Right. So you got to right, be skeptical right. of what's coming after. I didn't also, even think I was set up. I was too busy. You, worried you about bought, you when bought I'm in not, when you I'm not in. genius. Well, I'm already tearing down the genius. <laughs> I can't even accept genius. I'm like genius. You know, like like sometimes. Bro. 
I'll go back and see if I unplugged the iron and I didn't. You know what I'm saying? Just silly I don't shit. really know, you know. Because that's, um, that's low vibrational things. You don't okay. care about that. I, I care about the, the electricity vibrations. I care about those vibrations. You care, but you don't be thinking about it. You think, think about, about things fire. on a higher level. I think about fire. F- what type of fire? I know you got some shit like about Iron fire. Plugged in too what long what, what fire. twenty minutes you got on fire? I know you I got. I don't got no twenty minutes on fire. Come on, hey, don't! I saw you the first time. That's how civilization, you know. That's how we. Here got we go. Popping. Here we go. Here we go. Here it come. That's here come how the we got it popping. Here come the, here come that's the how we got popping. Here come the joke. The, the, come, okay. The circle, and what else? You know, the, and, oh, the, the circle. What else? Keep going. What you mean? You got rocks. You, you got, got more, sticks. You know you got five. You know you got twenty on fire. Rub two that. sticks together. You all, anything you bring up, you got. Click some time two rocks. On it. First time I saw Rob, period, was on stage uh, at Data Factory. Hey. It was an immediate hate, it, and by hate I mean jealousy, because the man was just man. crushing so hard. And it wasn't even the fact that he was crushing. I've seen. I'm from Chicago. I've seen plenty of people crush all the time. It was the fact that he was crushing that Native Factory. Hannibal Burr was hosting at the time, so he was there. And um, kneeling in front of Rob, like on the floor watching Rob destroy, uh, was the uh, was um, our Reggie, Reggie Watts. Yeah. And that, if that wasn't enough, I'm like, you know what? Hey, <laughs> this is pre-Instagram. Well, this is pre-everything like everything being recorded. You no know, videos. everybody going everybody to go home and never think about this. That'll be their little moment. Maybe yeah. they throw them a shout. I go to Reggie Watts' Instagram. He took a photo of Rob Hayes and put Kill It. And I'm just like, this is in perpetuity now. Now, hey, that I got to be mindful of that. flex. I didn't even live in New York yet. Didn't. Pulled up. So when I went back home. Of course. Crazy. 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 At, People going going back going down south from sandwich. New York City Come and on, Reggie man. Watts. Come on. It's documented. It's foreign. It's documented. You know I'm not lying. <laughs> it's foreign. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all see me disappointed. It was, it was blurry. At, at plenty of opportunities that passed me by, but guess when they didn't pass? When I was in Brooklyn. Bro, you could. <laughs> I would have lived off that at least for a year. That was insane. Because it, it, it was authentic. It was like he really just hey, happened to be. But, now, was it authentic? Was that all set up? Nah. From like. You that know you're set up. You know you're industry. That was that you was a stranger. I ain't no industry. Nobody ain't. I, set I showed that up. up. They That's they ain't called for me. I just showed up. Organic. I just yeah. I just I was just like, hey, I'm downstairs. <laughs> but like they they didn't it's know I floor. was coming. It's one floor at the. They didn't know I was coming. You know what I'm saying? I ain't industry. They had an open car. I got found in an open car. The people that be on the street, they found me off the street. How'd you even find Hannibal? How did that even come about? This the wild thing. <laughs> this that is the thing. story. Go ahead. He saw a video that Vanessa Fraction posted of me. Mm. And so when I met him, he said, I just saw you. So it was no, hey, I'm a I'm a guy that does this, I promise. He, it was he already, already had the like, proof. oh, he's doing it with people that I know. People Man. I could call up and be like, hey, you know. That's like serendipity on top. Yeah, Cause it it's was already nuts. it was nuts. Vanessa from Chicago. Like, he from Chicago. He happened right, to see it. Right. He could have not been on Instagram that day. You know, the random days you're like, man, I fuck social media. Right. But he wasn't. He was on there. He saw you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then he said, "Come to New York." No, he never told me to come to. New oh, York. okay. Then that would because that no, would have been nuts. No, I'm like, hey, I heard you got a new show. Blah 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 blah. I this heard is, <laughs> this in eleven. This in eleven. Well, you still had to hear this things. Is, no, this is when the show was new. But I'm saying, like in eleven, you kind of had to. You could still hear things. Not like I saw. This, right, like, right, right. Yeah, I heard. There's no yeah, saw. I heard you got this no, show. I saw on a website. I read an article. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So then. I, next year I go up there, oh, and it was crazy. Part. It was crazy. This Chris is... Rock was on stage. Lucas Brothers on stage. Oh, uh, w. Kamal Bell in the building. You know what I'm saying? Hari on stage. Oh. Like, it's it's popping. Like, intermission, crowd changing out. People from the outside on the Who inside. Get in. People from the inside on the outside. They like Popping we, 10. It can't, it can't get I'm, no better than I'm this. I'm lucky to get in. Then 
the next year I hit him up like, hey, I'm I'm rolling through. I'm gonna be I'm on a road in the area, mm. you know. And then it was like, you know, no response for a minute. But then it was like, yeah, you good? Like like day before, and it was like, cool bet. I was you know I'm still rerouted anyway. I'm coming through anyway. Coming through anyway. Yeah. Was yeah, that yeah. You, did you have a like a list of shows that you was gonna do? You just pulled up to that one. No, I had I had you know anything. Because motherfuckers I could would get. come do knitting factory, and then they the rest of their week booked. Right. <laughs> you know what right, I'm saying? Right. Like come through the bar. Right. You what you do a Thursday? Yeah. It was one of them type of spots. It, yeah, it, it was. One of those type of spots, it definitely you know? was. It was yeah, a good look. Yeah. Good times, man. Also, when you're producing a show, it's great when it's like, all right, this person new and they got a, a great opinion of, of doing shows over here. All right, cool. What we you mean? get them to do something that's less fun. What you talking about? <laughs> what you talking about? This Is it uh, joke on me? No, I'm saying oh. it. I'm saying people come through from out of town. Oh, yeah, yeah, they yeah. They do yeah. that show. That show is a blast. It's Sunday. I'm like, well, yeah. <laughs> Come to my show. It's on a Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it's like this on Sunday, just imagine what it would be like gotta on a be Tuesday. Yeah. And then they come through, and then they're like, okay. But they got that energy of, I thought I was I was coming to right. a Right. Crazy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That, was, that, it was that a, works it, out to our benefit. It was a lot of that where like people are like, well, it can only go up from here. Yeah. This is, <laughs> New York is not like they yeah. said. I it's guess all. Saturday I'll be at Medicine Square got, Garden at I this got, rate. I got paid <laughs> to be in front of the biggest right. audience. I'm going to be in Pain. front of until Drinks. the next time I do this show. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Look at look yeah. at my serendipity. Come on, yeah. Now they got me in Long Island City Queens. I done oh, made it now, baby. Long Island City Queens. <laughs> Long Island I'm City Queens. I'm already across from Manhattan, baby. I'm yeah, gonna go to Times Square, hang out, go right, take that seven, <laughs> and I, I made it. Is this a basement? <laughs> okay. Okay, maybe this is a secret basement. It is gonna get full. <laughs> people gonna fall in. Right. That's what I'm gonna go later in the show. Oh, less people are here now? Wow, this is different. <laughs> yeah. Man, I seen that person on TV. All right, they work here. Cool. They got them. <laughs> they, <laughs> it's humbling. Mm-hmm, this game mm-hmm. is is no it's no shortage of humility. Humbling opportunities. Opportunities right. to be humbled. Uh it's no shortage of it, man. But yeah, Clark, I, I feel like, you know, I, I got to spend some time living not far from you in True. in New York in, in Brooklyn Knights, Bushwick. Yeah, yeah. And uh but also, you know, you're you're a Chicago guy. You also uh, went to Morehouse, so got some, yeah. got some Atlanta, got Atlanta experience. Flavor. You know what I'm saying? I lived out lived here, lived out here. Now you're back. Now I'm back. Yeah, <laughs> ran out of <laughs> ran out of superlatives. No, uh, no, no. You done I, did all kind of stuff. You done I, been on TV. Absolutely. You done done the things. You absolutely. was blind. You wasn't blind. I was you know man. Woo, 2020. <laughs> yeah. uh, every Aquarius during yeah. the pandemic won't blind at least once. It's just the it's a done, it's a thing. Stand up. Done wrote on some shows that TV, you know what I'm saying. People absolutely. rock with heavy. You heavy. know what I'm saying. Like, I think my name is good out here. I yeah. would say, I would say overall. It's pretty. It's pretty cool out here now. This is uh, one thing I love about like current is like explaining things. When somebody says, explain this in NBA terms, right? So explain what in NBA terms. Well, I'm gonna ask you what NBA player trajectory do you feel like your career most mirrors, or most mirrors what your career? NBA player for where you at right now. What like what season or what like place could you? Cause I feel like I, right. I I'll lead right. it off. I'll lead it off. Like I don't know the answer to this question before I put it out there. I thought you was gonna answer first, but no, 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 no. <laughs> I, w- I was gonna talk my way through it. Oh yeah, right, right. That's kind of where I'm at. I'm because just like I was thinking like, okay, I think a lot of us come in the game with a with a Jordan type of mindset. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. I'm thinking like, all right, it's in the cards. I'm in my early twenties. Mm. I could be Martin. It could happen. I, that, I could be I, Martin. Martin, I, you know, by the time I'm 27, I'm on Fox, baby. It it could it easily, <laughs> right. easily, because I'm, nobody knows anything. It's still a possibility in my eyes. I'm not even realizing. I don't know about Star Search. I don't know about <laughs> what's happening now. I don't know about the journey to get Damn. to Martin. I'm just like okay. talking dirty after dark. You don't know yeah. about that? that. Well, I know about that. Okay, I know about that. But I'm thinking he already, you know, yeah. And that was. Martin, Martin, I mean, fish grease hot, like right. But that's why. I, that's why when, when but, Chris Rock tells so, us, "Go ahead." To me, that's Michael Jordan. To me, that's like, like, like going in, like, 
as far as like comparing yourself to other people you yeah. know what i'm saying like like there's this eddie murphy but you already got to be in the game as a you as gotta a teenager. be 19 snl 19 snl 16 just random places doing comedy in with the 70s. jerry seinfeld you just and, got it you yeah. just got it you just got it you never got you never had a period where you get it dave Chappelle. You a teenager on stage. You know what I'm saying? Aerie Spears, teenager on stage. You know, I'm not, comedy so I'm, I'm not them. I'm not them. The young but I'm female. Looking at, I'm looking at Seinfeld. I'm looking at, you know what I'm saying, Steve Martin. I'm looking at Martin and stuff. So those are like, you know, the trajectories I'm looking at at the time. It, it, it evened out a lot. Like, as much as people like to complain about now, I just feel like it's really up to you. Like, right. there will be people who uh, may come in and try to block your blessings, whatever it might be. But I prefer a motherfucker just looking at my numbers and saying, yeah, this this lines up. They ain't got to like me. Right. You ain't got to. <laughs> you don't care who I built with none of that. Yeah. Shit. Like, I like when it's just a numbers as opposed to before we were just like, man, what do you what do you what do you want? Oh, you want to have sex with this person? I, that's not gonna happen here. I, you got to tell Diddy no. You know what I'm saying? Or whoever it might be, no. Wait, wait, what? Just the bullshit of it. I feel like a lot of bullshit is. They were removed. not booking comedy clubs with that. Of <laughs> who they want to have sex with? Yeah. No. No way. <laughs> wait. Wait a minute. No way. Wait a minute. <laughs> Hold on. I don't think so. Let's let's rewind. You don't think people was getting booked off in in, in any fashion in the comedy game off. Pe- of the booker wanting to have sex with that person, that comedian. I think if you thinking like that, you're crazy. I've I seen it that, happen. I think the people that <laughs> that sell the best the weekend are the people that they go after. The people that. But how do you know that person's see. gonna sell before you book them? I think Jeff Dunham had puppets. I don't think people are like man, he's hot. Oh my god, I, man, I can't wait to have sex with Jeff Dunham. Yeah. I think he had a trunk full of puppets. And every year he had a different puppet show, and they could book him every year because he's yeah. gonna have a new puppet show every you year. You know what? I'm so puppet. I'm so no booker ever was doing it for nefarious reasons. It was just like you know. So what? you think they they you got Sam Kinison got out of here because people had a crush on him, or did he just have a unique voice that could reach the people in crazy ways? Like you acting like these people wanted to be with Dice. I know. A, I know a Sam Kinison like, you know story that I don't even know if I'm at weird. liberty to say. Cause that'll get keep get it too real. Like I ain't about to break no, you know. You just you just know it if you're out in the comedy scene. But usually it's something non comedy related, and that's not dissonant. It's just the like way that it's been. Talk, man. How else would you? How it's too like it, during all these comedy booms. It's so many. What's gonna differentiate you when you talk about breaking somebody out, outside of? It's a, it was a lot of funny people. It was yeah. a lot of fun. So what's gonna differentiate you? Just luck. Cause it's you gotta not, have luck it's too. It's not. It's not luck. It's having. It's having that thing that separates you. It's being <laughs> memorable. It's being a star. This is funny. This is funny. It's being a star. This is funny. This is hilarious. Why is me. it hilarious? Cause you know what you're doing. What you mean? I'm just telling the truth. Your pi- your your pitch went up or not? That means you. That means you lying. That's not true. I'm not you lying. will fail. You will fail one of them lie detector tests because your voice went up an octave. Ain't nothing wrong with your voice going up a ox. Nothing wrong with it. That's a straw man argument. I didn't say it was wrong. I just said it's it's it means that you are being um, you know, a little bit adjacent of facts. This is the age I of don't truth. Think so. I don't think so. Age of truth. The age of truth, it don't gotta be. It is though. It don't gotta be. How Everybody's often? truth isn't based on fact. If you believe something, truth. if you believe something that's not true, or you've always, be- what if you initially learned something wrong, right? Like this is a table, but what if the, you originally learned it was a chair, and you never had an opportunity that have a differentiation in that meaning? Like, say you took a test, that's the only question you got wrong. You still got an A. No one was like, hey, but just so you know, this is a table, this is a chair. Now you grown. You like I saw him. He fell on the table. It changes the whole court. But you case. believe in it? Don't make it truth. But it's your truth. Your it, truth. It, it's not. There's no such thing as your truth. My truth. What it's you mean? either true or it's not true. It's either true or it's not true. Sometimes because then this table, you can say it gets into opinion because you can say this table is a chair if you can sit on it. 
So that's okay. not my truth or your truth. It actually is a chair because you can sit on it. That That's indisputable. Right, but somebody would say you lying. They would say what? They would change the subject because it's it's not a it's not a debate that you can actually have. Why is it not a debate that you can have? Why are some debates you can have, some deb- debates you can't? Have? Because there's no, you. I don't debate feelings, okay. and I don't debate um, shit you can't verify. But you can verify that as a society, we have an idea of what tables are. We have an idea of what chairs are to make life more efficient. We have an idea. Exactly. Ideas is, is another thing I won't debate. I'll discuss. I okay. won't debate it. Okay. <laughs> what What's the biggest debate that you're facing right now? What's the last good debate you had? The last good and debate? I promise I haven't it wasn't had, worth it. I haven't had a good debate in a while. I keep getting caught See? in in debates that either I'm uninformed on or the person I'm talking to is uninformed on. I haven't had a good, like, I have information, they have information, let's go to bout debate it's, in a it, minute. It's not a good debate until it turns into a discussion. That's why I mm. won't debate. Um, what will you debate? Oh, I, ooh, what will I get into what a will debate, you debate about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get into a debate about anything if I feel like the person who I'm debating, it's about the person, I'm the, the energy, it's like mushrooms, it's like who I'm with as opposed to the actual thing. Okay, you know so what you mean? assume my audience knows what mushrooms is like. I, as most people a do at this point. point. Mushrooms are all about who you're experiencing it with. That's what okay. much, that's that's the if it's with a bad vibe, right. bad person. For those of you that don't do mushrooms, Clark says, "What is it's your about demographic? Doing it with. What's your demographic?" I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. So I don't know who everything is out watching there. this. I don't know who is receiving this, but I appreciate all of you. Somebody. I appreciate each and every one of you, even the ones that say negative stuff, because you drive other people to say positive stuff. Yes. And then that stuff is, is what I like fuel my sleep on. Two things. Number one, somebody's out there patiently waiting for us to name the NBA reference to our careers. The conversation oh, we started you, to you live, didn't want but us to get happen. there. That's not going to happen. Want us that's to not going to happen. Just, but keep trying. listening. Keep I was listening. trying so hard second, second, to find my players. Second, negative comments aren't even the worst anymore. You know what the worst comments are? The well actually people. Well actually is way. Somebody called me Fat Method Man. I'm like, you know what? That's pretty good. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Someone was like, oh, does anybody else think he's one of the Method Man fat cousins? And I was like, I do. Yeah, he kind of. I'll okay. take that. That's what I did. The, well, where's the well? Actually, I put up a, <laughs> a rap joke, and somebody said, "Well, actually, the lyrics are this," and that's just like, "Man, you're a fucking loser, bro." Are you one of those people? I'm, are you a well actually? I'm actually thinking about getting a. Do uh, you have a burner? Uh, getting you, a burner. Did I'm you, thinking about getting you, a burner because. Did you right post on my the, ludicrous the, joke? Right now, the well actually be cutting into my brand as a person that puts out things, and I don't like that. And sometimes I just want a well actually in peace. So wait, so you want to create an account where you can well actually comedians jokes? That, uh, Not uh, comedians uh, jokes. Just stuff that I see, and I'm like, they need to actually, Damn. they need, they need the facts. The facts need because it be on people, people need credit when they nail it, and some people mm. nail it. And I feel like the well actually, like when you look down and there's no well actually, it's like, dang, they they nailed it, they bodied it. So they, that deserves the Victor credit. Get all the spoils because there was actually they they're referencing a thing and it accurately happened like that. And yeah. they found the funny in it. So yeah. they should get more credit than somebody who was a little bit off. Because sometimes I feel like if you're a little bit off, you changed it for your convenience, not like, oh, I messed up. But sometimes I've been a victim victim of I didn't really change it for my convenience. I remembered it one way. It happened another way. Yeah. And I grew up in a time where you couldn't check. I grew up in a time where whatever you that. pulled – just went into it. Whatever you, yeah. however you, you know, reform this memory. Yeah, I saw Terminator 2. This happened and this happened. And I might, you know, pull for something else and put it in there because I don't remember every single frame and I can't just pull it up in my pocket. Well, here the real, the real question is, if you continue to do, say it was a joke, did you change it when you performed the joke later? Because I have. 
I've I could, done it. I've I could, done it. That, and that's all. I, that's the that's the most you can ask for me, right? Yeah. Because my Sweeney Todd joke, I called Mrs. Lovett, Mrs. Mooney. I got those switched up, and you know the musical theater community. I don't know if you're familiar with them, but they are the most well actually of oh, probably see, any subset. See now, so Clark. when I when I mix those up, I'm like, listen, y'all, I was nervous. This Comedy Clark. Central is a big opportunity for me. I'll never let it happen again, though. This is not the New York Times. We're not trying to, like, get you ain't caught up in anything. <laughs> if Salacious. you want to call somebody something else and somebody something else, that's your creative license as a creator. Here. Here. You could do the end on stage. No, no, and no. End no, on no. stage. I don't yeah. want them mad at me. They're that my was people. another joke. Oh, you missed that one. It was bars. They're my people. Them up, I cannot. I what can't turn mean? my. I can't turn what my back mean? on the on the MTs. No, no MTKs. That's when my, when Eddie Murphy <laughs> on Weekend Update said Opie Cunningham and mixed Opie Taylor mm. and Richard Cunningham together and said it to Ron Howard's face like that was that was hard because it was like he oh he messed that up on purpose. You that's know what fair. I'm saying? That's it's fair. Like, it's like one right. of them type of like it's a flex. You think I really don't know Sweeney Todd? Get out my face. Eddie Murphy when he falls is on a pile of money though. When I fall, it's a one not bedroom time, in not Highland that Park time. and the bed is not soft. I'm it's about, just the best I can do at this time. I'm talking about pre hairline Eddie Murphy. He lining ah. himself up in the green room with the straight razor. If you've seen the backstage pics, you know what I'm talking about. Hey, well I ain't about to delete it, so shit. I I'm just saying in it thank you. Cause in the future yeah. You know what? It depends on what it is. It depends on what it is. Like I had that like Oppenheimer thing that okay. happened. Right. And then I was like, you know what? I don't want to be spreading false information just because I had a funny premise come to me while I'm watching a movie. Mm. And I don't want my ignorance to be duplicated. Okay. You know, and I feel like there's a responsibility there. I feel like a lot of comedians be giving <laughs> ammo to people who don't have ammo that are wrong that have hateful thoughts, that have terrible things. And now we figured out the perfect way to say it, but now we just made that a gift to the ops. And I feel like okay. we have a responsibility to not do that. We have, so, so sometimes I will go back and be like, this is the real, this is what really happened. Because the last thing I want is people repeating what I said to fuel some sure. stuff that I don't agree with. I don't feel shit about it being wrong. Uh, Number one, because you just gotta look at people now and like the mistakes. Look at people. You gotta look at people now. Look, look at people. Look at now. them right now. now look if at you people somewhere now. and there's people around. Look at them. If you have your eyes closed. Take your take your shades off and get a good look at the people right now. Remember back when people was all full of themselves, but look at people now. Look at people all now. All humble post pandemic. Yeah, everybody going through it. Right. Yeah. Look at people now. Look Not at before people now. So, I, you know, we, we like the mistakes. We talk about the mistakes. If it's flawless, people go, oh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just look over your shoulders, it. girl. Cut. Ooh. He you know who you are? Shoulders. You're Michael Jackson. That's who you are. Hilton Jacobs. Hey, don't ever stop the take. And <laughs> I love mistakes. <laughs> Leave it in. That's a nipple because I'm drooling. <laughs> That's not, that's a shadow. It's a shadow. No, that's a nipple. It's a shadow. Yeah, that's a nipple, because I'm drooling. <laughs> if you know the reference, oh, Venmo me. Another, another 1992 film. Boomerang is the greatest you know? rom-com of all fucking time. Because it okay. had the romance and the comedy. Yeah. Equal parts. Yeah. Also, it's like a very unique uh, Eddie Murphy movie. Oh, shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Cause he's oh, like playing cousins. a character that he normally doesn't play, and it's like he's oh, yeah. nailing it though. You know it, what I mean? It's so anti Hollywood. People are like, where do white people at in, in this world? This New York City? And I'm like, yeah. But it's based on the Johnson Product Company, and like where like, I work. Real, yes, yeah, yes, absolutely. Uh, what's funny, and if people are boomerang fanatics or really watched it recently, I don't know if Marcus Graham. Had a flat screen or the TV was in the wall? The TV was in the wall. You think so? It's the nine deuce. But the it's TV Eddie. The TV is in the wall, bro. It's Eddie, though. It's Eddie, a heavy you don't think, wall. It's you don't a, think Eddie no, could have had a flat Marcus. screen? It's Marcus Graham. Even still. The, he ain't <laughs> had no flat screen. 
Wasn't no plasma. I was tweaking. Wasn't no liquid in that TV. I was tweaking. No, that TV like, in the wall. Bro. Build a wall around my TV. Measure the TV and then measure the wall. But that beam yeah. got to be like deep then because you yeah. cutting out half of it. The right. Tisha Campbell next door. Man, how she afford a crib next to Marcus Grant? What you mean? Did you see her character? <laughs> the other cribs in his neighborhood don't look like his crib on the inside. Ah, uh, he was standalone. He was the he was the guy because he lived by himself. Black it's gentrifying. Other, it's like families around there. Black it's like other stuff going on. You know what I'm saying? We well, don't know right. who lives with Tisha Campbell. Why she's outside? She that, might be outside because there's so many people inside. The only way I could give some privacy is outside. I guarantee the elevator in his building one shit. Like she, he 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 gutted two floors. He had like the whole a thing. little brownstone, though, little brownstone right? joint. Yeah. But the rest, I bet the hallway one shit. But we don't see that. We don't see that. Matter of fact, I was the flat he kind of studio ish because you could see his bed. That's real. But Use it's like, kitchen. you know what I'm saying? There it's were like, no rooms. I think he, he might have had a, like, yeah, like a, a loft. Like a, like a loft, but like the whole loft. He he definitely knocked the wall down to get the TV in there. Yeah. That used to be, they used to be separate, two family type shit. Yeah. And he's like, you know what? I work for Ebony. This will never go out of business. Right. <laughs> I'm right. Good. I'm about to get a promotion. Come on, man. I'm, I'm the head of marketing. Peacoat I, I, game that's me. crazy. You think I'm that's wearing me. the same pea coat the whole movie? I got with multiple the collar coats. Up, with the pre, multiple coats, pre bro. Collar up. Pre Broadway tickets that went to waste. Did anyone in your high school ever wear a pea coat pre A? Anyone? Anyone? We, anyone? Okay, okay. I did, but here's why. I was in ROTC, so okay. they gave us pre pea coats. That is some Chicago stuff right yeah, there. Yeah, man. I was a naval. <laughs> NJROTC, the Navy ROTC, we had the, because that's what, that's military dress. So we had the, uh, we had the peak, and that was just when they kind of dropped in the city. So, you know, everything that every, the rest of the country or the world saw around 03 was really Chicago from like 97 through 01 was just a pivotal switch in Chicago. Mm. We went from, Pelly's never went away, but we just added the nautical. We added the Perry. Perry Ellis had Chicago in a chokehold. Yeah. 97. I worked at Evergreen Plaza Mall. So uh, GLC was upstairs in Wilson, in um, in uh, the Lark, and mm -hmm. they had all them jackets, Havana Joe's. I was downstairs in Wilson's Leather. So between them two stores, like I, every black person who came to Evergreen Mall, I probably ran across. Okay. And so he was upstairs. Yeah, he used to come up there. Yeah, it was, it's it's a long sort of history, man. Chicago okay. fashion in the late nineties. It was, and Lupe had talked about gangbanging. Had a lot of the leaders had got locked up, mm. so it was just this switch. And then Kanye dropped, and it was just like, okay, this is what we on now. Okay, you know what I mean? Like we not we yeah, everybody got gang ties, but we just we kind of this is the most popular thing. We gonna get behind our guy, and we gonna get the shirts with the. Sweaters underneath and all that. Um, did you ever have a buck fifty hat? I never had a buck fifty hat. Yeah. What's a buck fifty hat? It cost a hundred and fifty dollars. It had like gator skin on it, it had a watch on it. I didn't have one. <laughs> but my brother my brother, who was a street guy, what's a, a buck fifty hat? He had he, That was a test. That was a test, guys. I didn't I didn't call it that because that wasn't my era. That wasn't my era. It was okay. my city, but it wasn't my era. My okay. older brother had one and by the time his was beat up, that's when he just it was just laying around the house. I'm like, I'm not wearing no beat up. Like all the snake skin was starting to uh, shed. Uh, got you, got you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Chicago back then, a lot of people ask this, like, it was just, you had to do something, because I always see You comedians. had to do something. You had to do something. I see a lot That's of That's how I felt in Atlanta, like, I had to do something. Like, but what you mean when you say that, though? Like, stuff was popping, other people okay. doing stuff. I'm look around, at people. I'm, I'm seeing people doing stuff, and then people. it's like, what's, what's deep down in You're my heart and my soul? Like, what do I want to do? You had to choose something. If what you can I do? If you wasn't going to gangbang, you had to do something. And not only did you have to do something, you had to do it. You had to commit to it. 
Yeah. Because it's like, okay, if you're not gangbanging, you better be at practice. Mm. Or you better be, you the scorekeeper guy? Okay. I, I was the dancer. So I had like. You were the dancer? I danced in what high school. What does that mean? I danced in high school. Ballet, like at, jazz, like at football hip-hop, games and stuff? Football, halftime, all that. Really? <laughs> yeah, man. It's documented. It's on the, I do jokes what about What kind it. of dancing you doing? This was like, uh, it was the guys and dolls. So like we did like, it was just jazz. At the games it would be like hip hop and, um, you know, lifting and like everything. But in, you in class. You were I did everything. Did no, no, no. Vest? It was like this uh, overshirt. It was. It looked very um, Jabba Kuiz ish. It was costumes. You were, you was dressed like Ricky Martin, duller, because it had to be the school colors. I right. couldn't just go out there. Rogue. You was the school spirit, Ricky Martin. School spirit, black fourteen. La vida loca. Straight. Yeah, the whole yeah, thing. But bang. you had to. You if if you stood on stood on business. As yeah. whatever, that's why I'm not gang man because I got I got dance practice. But man. you was dancing on business. I was dancing. Was I was spending on business. You were spending I on was, business. I was a uh, pot of bourreeing on business, bro. What is a pot of bourree? It's like a spin. Mm. I was switch, okay. I was switch kick on business. So what what styles of dance did were were you working every in? single one? We had some footwork jazz, in there, man. Jazz, tap, tap. No, not tap. I didn't do tap. See, that's the but problem. But it was tap elements. That's that's the problem with our generation. We got <laughs> tap dancing out of that, and we was good at that. We was we fire ta- at we that. We tap danced our and way we away let, from that. We let Doctor Umar and them get the taps off our shoes, and I feel like tap dancing shows preparation. Tap dancing shows Challenge. like skill it and was, stuff. And also, man, some of y'all tap dancers could have tap albums right now if you really Easy. think about it. I mean, Savon really tried. Could. Savon Glover tried. Uh, fucking uh, bring, bring in, in the, the noise, bring, bring in, in the, the funk. funk. Yeah, but see, they should have brought in the crunk and the snap. And if the, they could have got that bridge the trap, the problem. You know, you know what? I'm saying? what? The, you know what ruined it? He did that video with Diddy, and then. It Stop was like it. it was like the Ace Benjamins it. remix. Stop it! Him and Diddy was in the Stop video. It. That's and how I found out he had dreads. Who I didn't did know. it? No, Xavion. <laughs> I remember Savon. seeing Tap Savion as Glover, a kid yeah. and being like, "Okay, he a kid that be tapping," and then he'd be on random like like uh, sitcoms Street, and stuff Sesame, tapping. Yeah. But I didn't know the dreads had got that long until he was in the Diddy video, and then All about I seen the, the binge- commercial for bringing the noise, bringing the fun. Yes. All in the Benjamins tap remix that killed it, and that and it's like it's one of them things where it's like uh, all good money, ain't, all money ain't good money because he don't was do he was going up like this, don't and then he was that. like, "Wait, you doing that now? Nah, we don't we don't buy it as a you because Diddy was pretending like he could tap dance, and he made it look easy, and we were just not fucking with it after that. There was a whole tap dancing element to the smart guy, and it, and it flipped how you even think about tap dancing because he was a genius, but this was the one thing he couldn't do. Smart guy couldn't tap dance. He had to practice at it. It was, was the only thing he had to practice that at. Was he him. had to work at. That's how he got in the Destiny's no, Child video because no, he was tap dancing. That was self hate. He was trying to deny his blackness. No, he was By, not. No, you he was you got not. a twelve hundred IQ, but you they can't tap dance. DC, it's literally lifting world. your feet up and down rhythmically. What's blacker than that? Tap dance. I take it as a actually. So the clever I wish I didn't of, know that. I love smart guy and his, all his brothers and sisters. But imagine tapping to this, though. Okay. <laughs> okay, real quick. The Maoris or the Smolets? In what? In anything. Just just as a brand. Would you rather have the Maoris or the Smolets? I watch every episode of On Our Own on, on Sundays Ooh. on ABC. Who was the and guy? Who was the, the box fade? I don't uh, remember the But he the was on an episode of Seinfeld. Yeah. I don't remember the non smallette that the was. The older brother. The older brother. Took them in. But I do remember all the smallettes. I watched Full House. You know what I'm they saying? It was everywhere. They I owned watched, ABC. Yeah, I, I watched, you know, uh, 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 the Cosby show. You know, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. That wasn't the that was just Cosby, right? Oh, okay. Wherever they was at, I remember seeing them. If it's kids. a small light there, I remember you pulling seeing up. them gotcha. little kids. Also, if Lovecraft Country came out ten years prior, it'd be tatted on me. Oh, if oh, Lovecraft you Country came out in my early twenties, it'd be tatted on me somewhere. But so, them, them Maoris, man, but, they was ABC too. But sister, 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 sister. 
and smart guy, smart guy, and and teen witches, and don't forget, uh, he was on a couple family, I mean, Full Houses episodes too. He was friends with with Stephanie. Okay, so he would just yeah. pop in. Urkel, yeah. who was in Chicago, somehow would end up in San Francisco by himself. Never, that's inexplicable. Right, but he would bring Taj Mowry with him. He was a friend of uh. Of the kid, of the baby, the baby girl, the twins. Yeah. So who? Maori's a Smollett. Who ran this the nineties? This is this is tough. I'm gonna have to go with the two A Twister. I'm gonna have to go with Sister Sister. Okay. You know they were saying? bigger. Like like they they got some stuff off. We know they grew up together, and they still sure. got off that they that they met at the mall. I'd be at the mall like twin. <laughs> Where have you been? Where's my twin? Where's my twin at? They met at a twin. I'm I'm then, in J C Penny's like, oh, I know he here. I just seen it. So what Where happened? My twin? Give me the what's the origin story? They met at a mall. Jackie uh Harry lost her house and so she moved in with uh uh Tom Dreesen's comedic partner. Yeah. So basically, <laughs> uh uh yeah. Tim Reed, he got a daughter. They 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 were uh, foster kids. They got split up. Yes, they split up some twins. You know what I'm saying. So that's not her real mama. No, that's, that's not her real. They mama. both that's adopted not they it. Real dad. I didn't know that. They both adopted. So he's like, we we now we can't raise them apart. You know what I'm saying. We got to raise them together. I did What's not your know birthday? That. It's blah 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 blah. You know, like they they know all the information. They up on the information because they are foster kids that have information. Now, did they ever have a Fresh Prince Ben Vereen type episode where they were found by the parents? They went to go find their parents, ah. and then uh, on a special, episode, and then they found sister, out sister. that their parents died, and they mm. found like a picture. Yeah, I used to get Sister Sister, the show, and Sister to Sister, a black woman's magazine, mixed up all the time. Okay, you was reading Sister to Sister, <laughs> trying to find out, <laughs> like. My mother bought like, every issue. It was always, it was good read. How to find out your man is cheating on you. I just want to know if Roger went home. Yeah, well, <laughs> this isn't, did they find their parents or not? I don't like, need three different uh, relaxers. I just want to know where I could buy the I'm going down version that Tamir is saying. You know? Yeah, why is Brandy on this episode of Sister Sister? She got her own show. Bernie Mac, great uncle. Yeah. Best uncle of all time, TV? Best TV uncle of all time? You you putting Bernie Mac over Uncle Bernie over Uncle Phil? He was the you uncle. You putting Uncle Bernie over Uncle Phil? Uncle Phil, way Ooh. better uncle than he was a father. They had a bigger budget <laughs> on Fresh Prince, though. Uncle Phil was a better uncle than he was a father to but his at, own kids. At, at what point is that is his daddy? What I guess, mean? Uh, like, uh, I mean, like... Like Bernie Mac was a true uncle because you know he visited. Why? You know, like why? Will living with you, you his daddy. You know why it's not his daddy? Why? Because the same way complexion. The last episode ends. The last episode ends. They sell the house and it's like, all right, bro. <laughs> that hey. is that, all right, I, bro. I, that hey. is exactly what we I'm going through right to now. New York. I don't know what you about to do, but hey, hey, bro. It was real. 1990 to 96 was crazy. Man. And you made it crazy. You had some jokes. You got a lot of jokes off on me. And guess what? I'm who, going who away got, from the Who got the last right laugh, now. though? <laughs> you shouldn't have been buying all them Jordans. Hey, I hope you saved. I hope you saved your money. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Because that pool house ain't available no more. It's I hope gone. that ULA degree do something for you, bro. All I, right, my guy. It's comedy clubs is popping. You, you know, got on them Columbias right now. You, you straight, right? You friends you with straight. DL Hughley. You so got on all linen. Say, I don't got on all linen. I've been wearing the same vest <laughs> since season right, four. Right, right. I got. I just got to go judge real quick. I don't know what you about to do. Yeah. <laughs> oh, can I come live with you? Boy, I got. I got hey, son. I got to hey, raise. That was at the old house. Little Nikki, you the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. We I don't live in Bel Air no more. I can't take food yeah. out of Little Nikki mouth because yeah. you. We in the we in we in Marcus Grandma house. You better go 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 take Little Nikki. And a stripper and go fight some aliens. That's what they go here. Yeah, Nikki, get in the car with him. Yes, you his son now. Yes. Go to a strip club because you yeah. depressed about yeah. not having a home. Jazz sister work at a strip club, okay? So Jazz sister work at a strip club. Go meet up with her. Take little Nikki with you. 
Get with Jeff Goldblum. Save the planet one Check time. it out. Your cousin Carlton is about to be a chiropractor in LL Cool J's <laughs> uh, fitness center. Yeah, yeah. The girl from my year Campbell, she going to be there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, Deion Sanders going to stop by for an episode. I would suggest. And you didn't hear this from me, but Kim Wayans. Kim Wayans, from, she going to be there, too. <laughs> living color, she's going to be up there, too. It just looks like a good vehicle for you. You yeah, got the experience. Yeah, you yeah. know Quincy Jones, yeah. so you should pull up to that. I don't right. know why you still here in Bel-Air. Do a new song. Tatiana Ali, you about to have a baby, but then you're going to think about having an abortion. It's a kid, Nick Cannon. Yep. We're going to be talking about it. You know what I'm saying? we we going to hook you up with the video. DL about to, he about to have a family in the show. <laughs> right. Uh, Remember that comedian that you had stay that, over there one that time? She, that she was a hack in front of and didn't respect him? <laughs> yeah, you should, you should yeah, humble yourself. Right. Go to Potluck on Monday. Comedy he about store. He's about to host Comic View. Bring okay? that back. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a good, I'm giving you options. This is Y'all all don't LA even based. know Comic View is spinoff of the Fresh Prince. They don't even talk about that. They, they don't, don't even talk they don't about how it DL... was a tax write off at the time. <laughs> that's what he. That's what he was auditioning for. Oh. <laughs> Listen, Patty Labelle out all night didn't work out, but Morris Chestnut. There was a whole spinoff, and everybody's like, "Well, who got the spinoff?" And it's like, remember that club they went to a couple times? That was the the club got a spinoff. Everything the club got set got a spin off. Listen. That's how hot the Fresh Prince was as a show. The set Everything. from the club got its own show. They got a deal. They deadline article holding deal. But it's a for mis- the club set from the Fresh Prince. It's so many mysteries in their <laughs> history though. Like Will so many Will's best friend disappeared. That was supposed to be a, a hit us that he's supposed to be working forever. What he, you mean? The the one who was I was the, trying to get in the video. <laughs> Damn. What was you doing? Him. What yeah. happened? Nobody knows him. What happened they to him? They went on a whole TV show together. No one whole... even knows it but to me. Come just on, came to Cut, cut, cut. Who is this? Oh, yeah. I was just trying to be in the video. <laughs> that song was that's not one of their more famous songs, but it was a very good song. Hey, Ding. This beat is bleeding. No, no one even knows it, but to me, it just can't show it. Hey, hey, yo, what up? <laughs> you cool? Yeah, I'm cooling. You slick? Yeah, I'm slick too. <laughs> they just ask each other questions. Yeah. <laughs> you, you ready to go to Bel Air? Yeah, I'm ready to go to Bel Air. Let's go. Front step. Air Force Ones. Yeah, now we kicking it. Everybody knows that it's about to be Renix, Nick. Ooh, ooh, yeah, I got some Nicks with it. John Starks? Nah, he like Clark. Damn, why he going in like that? I'm dancing and I'm rapping. I'm with Zap. <laughs> do, 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 do. Blue, do, 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 do. No one even, even knows it, it but to me, you just can't show it. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> What's the name doing? of this song? It's you called Gangsta. I told you I did every form it's of dance. It's called Gangsta. Gangsta. Oh. I can't believe my girl is a gang. Yeah. You know, it's, it's Belle Biv DeVoe, so it's still got to be about the ladies. But the Ooh, lady, this. I didn't know that the lady was in a gang. Yo, <laughs> Belle Biv DeVoe taught me, like, women can be bad? Like, really? Poison? Yeah. Gangsta? Oh, man. I thought, I when, didn't know hey, women could be bad before hey, that. Hey, <laughs> when Poison comes on after you've taken se- sex ed, it's a totally different it's song. A whole it's different a totally thing. you leave sex ed and then you get in the car with your mom and poison come on the radio. You're like, yo, I will never trust a big butt and a smile. Poison was the back that ass up of its time. But it was also like, hey, if you're not, you can do the running man. That's <laughs> what I think we are missing. Our generation never gave options. It was always like Either you're twerking or you're dancing, but you're never dancing when you're twerking. You, no, 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 no. You <laughs> just you pick one, and, right, and we're going right. to judge accordingly. I like how Destiny's Child used to tell people to twerk, and then they never play those songs out. I just twerk I, it, pop it, just don't stop it. Like I like how what we call thick in O2 is vastly different. Right, what's thick in right. 2020? I feel like thick was just like a racial slur. In it was too. bad. It, it was like- you was either Beyonce or Jenna Von Oy from Blossom. It's like like I, I think thick means urban. Thick, thick is <laughs> it was a euphemism. Yeah, we're gonna get a couple right. urban shows. Yeah, we're gonna yeah. get a couple thick shows uh, right. this fall. When we <laughs> we look at the spinoff yeah. from Out All Night and In the House. Black shows had to have no more than three words: Out All Night, <laughs> In the House. 
The Fresh Prince. We didn't call it Fresh Prince. That's just it? titles. Nah, man. You it was know, racist. Dog, you <laughs> racist. Full House. Two. That's for white people. Step by step. Those aren't three words. It's a hyphen in there, so it's really just a amalgamation. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. That's a black show. Family Ties. <laughs> Let's write a black show called Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> man, I don't like what you're doing right now. I think that's just title. Who's the boss? Ah, uh, that's a question, though. Yeah. It got to be a statement. Out all night. One on one. Ooh, no, I don't yeah, like yeah. This. I don't yeah. like this. Every, every Moesha. That's one word. That's three syllables though. It's like three words. Moesha. No. <laughs> Who no. added that last little whisper? <laughs> I don't know. That person, I hope they're compensated. I hope they are Moesha. properly compensated. That was Countess Vaughn. The uh, the real star. The real star of UPN was Countess Vaughn. She had the Parkers. The Parkers. Moesha. The Parkers. No, see, you didn't say <laughs> syllables. You it's a beat. Word. It's a beat thing. The Parkers. Moesha. Mm-mm. What about the game? The game. Uh, Girlfriend. The game. Uh, Girlfriend. Girlfriend show. Girlfriends are living single. Girlfriends are living single. I feel like one informs the other. Um, I think I'll I'll, I'll watch. I think if I have more time, I'll sit with multiple episodes of Girlfriends, but I, I feel like I like uh, in a one-watch scenario living single better. I don't want to pick one. I don't want to. Yeah, no, I, I could binge. I, I, could, I could binge Girlfriends. I, I feel, wish Flavor Magazine was around. It still can be. We could make anything we want to make. We I have can't a master's make degree Magazine in journalism. Without, without Queen Latifah's stamp She's of She's still around? Yeah. She didn't write it? She was a character. But her her click was the flavor unit, and they took from her click to make Flavor Magazine. Like if she was in Khadija, if she was in the Rough Riders, <laughs> it'd be Rough Magazine. You know what I'm Khadijah. saying? What like was the, if what she was the Grand Hill song? If she was in if she was uh uh in Uptown Records, it'd be Uptown Magazine. You know what I'm saying? She was with the Flavor Unit. First of all, this woman was a bouncer at a DJ competition in Harlem. Right. She and wasn't a bouncer. She, oh, I'm sorry. She was in charge. She was of a talent picking. scout. She was a talent scout. She was a talent scout doing an open call. Sure. And then sure. she tried a guy and he put his name in a movie. What's your name? Yeah. No, 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 Come no. On. Not not him. When she was like Before Juice? Your beats is whack. No oh. one likes the music you play. And he said, What well, forget you then? I'm flex. It is like that yo, was okay. He put his name in the movie. Now that was that was that. But then Flex, Flex Flex went on to be a star of a TV show called what? One on one. How many syllables? Three. <laughs> Thank you. That's also, the point I'm trying to make. Words. Also three <laughs> words. Also three words. They would they went all in on the stereotype. <sighs> Cosby and he played a show. Guy named Flex. No, that's not it. <laughs> It's the Cosby Show. You could have like, yeah. could have did that. If you, if you, a different world. You could have did that. You if know, you assimilate. Yeah, what about the, what about Martin? I'm watching Cosby mm. Show. My in, my mm. in. No, nope. that's like three. Can nope. we stretch that? Nope, nope. Living single got four too. Yeah, now nah, I'm, I'm, I'm out here with this take. It ain't, it ain't really. Based it's not making reality. sense. It ain't. It it's ain't. just titles. Titles got to be short to the point. Ooh, did you watch the game? Uh, March Madness. No, <laughs> shut up. The TV show about football players with Derwin. Uh, not really, not really. I did see the 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 backdoor pilot, and I did I would see it in passing, but I wasn't really like a big watcher of the game. I wonder how big writing rooms was then. Yeah, yeah. It had. I don't think it was that. I think it was like four. I um, really think I, like I TV could shows. Find used to, out yeah. for you, but you know, yeah, yeah. It's gonna cost me. <laughs> I'm just saying I, I could find the out. The way you presented that yeah, was yeah. very I much I could find like, out yeah. at some point in time what it was. But, yeah, shout out to everybody that worked on the game. It was a good time in TV, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I wouldn't trade it for nothing. I, I want to see, it. like, I wish I could see, like, the Flintstones writer's room. You know what I'm saying? I wish I could see, like, like, like how they did, you, you know, know, Rocky and Bullwinkle. Like, you know like what? Who was working on that? What you know? What I'm sure it's the same number of writers that they had in uh, the Mary Tyler Moore show. Cause wasn't he a TV writer? Yeah. So like, what they it was like him, uh, the dude who was in Little Miss Sunshine, and like maybe three other writers. 
Oh wait, Mary Tyler Moore. They were doing news. You talking about Dick Van Dyke? Dick Van Dyke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah he yeah. was a TV writer. Yeah, t- he was a TV writer. But when you watch that, it's like mm, it didn't age well. The <laughs> honestly, <laughs> no women in the writing room. Honestly, it's like uh, they having a lot of liberties with a lot of stuff. Like even what's real and what's not real. What's a dream sequence? What's not a dream sequence? Really? Like, like they having like. Yeah, to the point where it's like, I don't know if I believe anything y'all saying. Y'all some liars. Yeah, they got y'all, real creative. A lot of creative lot of license. Cap. It's a lot of cap on the Dick Van Dyke yeah, show. And I know how you know a TV saying? writer's room goes because uh, I worked on one show. A lot so. of the jokes said, man, this little kid's stupid, ain't he? That's a lot of the jokes. He don't know what anything's called. He's calling stuff the wrong stuff. It's like, oh, kids got real smart on TV after this show. Mm. After this show, kids got like like show almost like the highest intelligence. Who had, for, for yeah, children. Michael from Good Times was the smartest person in the room. Yeah, yeah, but even like the Brady Bunch and how they communicate and stuff, like like when you watch you know shows that are a little bit younger, it's like okay, they they don't like the jokes. Not hey man, this kid this kid dumb. Uh, the, this kid the, don't the, know the, nothing. The, 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 the kid couldn't couldn't be stupid anymore. I mean they they could, but it it had to be one kid. You had to have one dumb kid. The kid became the star. Of what? Of shows. Primary. I mean, it depends. It depends. Different how you look strokes. At it. Uh, yeah. I mean, f- oh man. Uh, small wonder. You didn't mm. really want to see what Mr. Drummond was up to, though. It was lit when it was Gary Coleman. Conrad Bain. You know what I'm saying? You didn't really want to. I mean, he cool and all, but he a little too huggy. You how know about, what I'm saying? How about the range of the uh, of the pedophile, our boy, who was the Maytag man? Like he was this comedic dude all this time, and then he played the pedophile with uh, Arnold in Different Strokes. You remember that? The most important hey, hey, two hey, episodes. This man ain't arc. my boy. This man ain't my boy. I ain't never bought no bicycle from him. I got my bicycle from Walmart, bro. I don't know what you're talking about. You, dog. you like pizza? Arnold? I don't yeah, know this yeah. dude nah, nah. giving pizza and wine to kids Just, uh, after school. Man, it's three o'clock. You know what I'm saying? Why y'all getting cracking so early, bro? Three nah. red wine yeah. at, at 12, at, like, during school hours? They That's could smell nuts. it. Yo, yo, other people in the house could smell it on you? Yeah, the SLR man. camera. Come on. Guess where that episode is right now? Where? Tubi. Is it? I watch it on Tubi. Isn't and it they a two-part? The, it's both parts, and they don't even got the whole series. You can't even watch every episode, but you can watch that one on Tubi if you want to. When the first episode goes off, it should be, like, to be continued. They should switch it on on the whole like branding is everything, bro. That's hey, all man, I think about. Is that a brand? That's, I'm a brand. That's all the time we have. <laughs> you know what? This is to be continued. This is to I'm be. I'm so sorry, continued. But, uh, our time is up. Uh, uh, Clark, what's your what's your favorite color sky? Favorite color sky? Yeah. Oh, man, uh, light blue, I guess. Okay. Like gray is the it. one I hate the most, but you hate the uh, gray sky. Yeah, especially when it's gray, but there's no rain. I hate okay. that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fake rain sky. That's it's way. like That's way. either come with the rain or shut the fuck up. Yeah. Bro. Um. Oh, bro. Anything you want to tell the people? Oh man, <clears throat> look at people, dog. Like that's all you got to do. Is look at people, and that's where all your answers are. Um, my favorite battle rap on YouTube is this dude named O Solo. I just watch his clips. And have you seen Old Solo before? May, possibly. The funniest, the funniest. This is the time I want to shout out somebody. Old Solo, very good. Clark LaRue Jones. Look at all my clips. Share them. You know? <clears throat> you want to talk about the festival? Absolutely. Uh, I got so caught up in, like, shit. The, yeah. Um, the four fest. Dot com. We are doing a festival honoring our friend, my brother, Kenny DeForest. Kenny DeForest. Who, man, passed away uh, in d- December in mm-hmm. New York, mm-hmm. uh, December 14th. And uh, it just it just, it just, just feels like it was so long ago, but it yeah. wasn't even four months ago. Yeah. So we are doing a festival honoring him in his hometown of Springfield, Missouri, April 23rd through 28th. Um, that weekend we're doing shows at Blue Room Comedy Club. All the tickets are available. Um, that Tuesday, his birthday, April 23rd, the city of Springfield is uh, making the declaration of Kenny DeFore's Day. So that's Tuesday. We're going to have shows Thursday through Sunday. 
We're do showing his uh, special, uh, Don't You Know Who I Am. Uh, we're having a basketball and yoga uh, event that Friday. Um, we're going to be partying and just celebrating that man. He was a great dude um, who deserves all the love that we're showing him. So once again, you can either follow at DeFore Fest, D-E-F-O-R-E-F-E-S-T, or for um, tickets, donations, whatever you want to do, DeForeFest.com, D-E-F-O-R-E-F-E-S-T.com. Thanks so much, Clark. Come back anytime. Thank you. I'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Fun, fun stuff, man. Fun, fun, fun. Yeah, yeah. Breeze through an hour. Yeah. Like it's